welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Ivy and I have another grocery haul for you today so if this is your first video you won't of course know this go back and watch last week's haul but if you already watched last week's haul oh hello would you like me to not cut my head off um if you watched last week's haul you would know that I was like oh I feel so good about the amount of groceries I got for $80 and blah 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 well that lasted all in one week because of course I needed all the high priced items this week. So I have about $200 worth on the table here, but again, I had to get a bunch of big ticket items and also I had to get things for the Airbnb. So for the house, it was about 150, about $50 for the Airbnb. So I'm saying about, because I don't remember exactly, but yeah, I don't feel nearly as good about the price of everything this week, but it is what it is and we'll move on. Um, so in addition to getting things for the Airbnb, um, my girl Mandy always talks about her Ibotta deals. I used to use Ibotta like forever ago and I made like 25 bucks on it. I mean, $25 is $25, right? That's like money you didn't have on stuff you were going to buy anyway. My problem, if you will, with Ibotta is I buy so many not name brand items. I mean, again, if you watched last week's video, it was a great value commercial, basically, um, so there's not a lot of deals I get to partake in, but this week I've decided to check Ibotta and surprisingly enough, there were actually deals on some things I was already buying. So I should get about $5 back. So that's not too shabby at all. Uh, okay, so I was literally putting groceries away and I got a noti notification from Ibotta and I got $4.55 back from Ibotta, but then it had like a little info thing or whatever and so I noticed when I was checking out on Walmart there was like a little checkbox and so I thought that I had to check that to get my Ibotta money back or whatever well apparently it's a deal between Walmart and Ibotta so I can redeem it the deal on Ibotta but then when I go to Walmart I can if I check that box it gives me Walmart cash back so I now have a $5 Walmart cash balance. So I actually saved $9.55. So I thought I was saving about $5, but it was actually closer to $10. So that's not too shabby. Um, but yeah, the $5 is now in my Walmart account and then I have $4.55 in my Ibotta account. So I know the difference now to don't check that box or I don't really care because I'm sure I'll just get Walmart gift cards for my Ibotta anyways. So it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other, but yeah. So I ended up getting like $10 in rebates. So that's actually not too shabby. So just wanted to throw that in there because I literally just seconds after I got done filming, got the notification that said, you have cash back. So I was like, oh, fun. <laughs> Let's see how much I have. So anyway, there's the update on that. So, you know, it is, like I said, it is what it is for the price. And this week worked out that some Ibotta stuff worked for me. I'll probably start checking it weekly just to check it, you know, and I do have it linked to my Walmart online account. So I don't think any of it qualifies for the cash back part of Ibotta. Um, I know the groceries don't, but maybe a few of the other items do. Anyway, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll get about $5 back for the items that I got here. So that was kind of nice. Um, if you don't know what Ibotta is, it's um, basically coupons but you don't like redeem them right then. So you connect your Walmart account to your Ibotta or you scan your receipts if you shop in stores and you go through and choose what items you're gonna buy at Walmart and then once you've bought those items, it gives you cash back on them. So then you have an account in Ibotta that you can cash out. So you can either like get gift cards or they'll send you like money. I can't remember if I did it through PayPal or something maybe. Like I said, it's been years ago. So anyway, this is not an Ibotta commercial, you know, hashtag non-spons, whatever. Um, but I don't know. I think I probably could put a link down in the description box. If I remember, I will do that. So without further ado, gone on and on forever and long enough, I'm going to show you what I picked up at the store this week. I'll try and remember to point out the things that I got a rebate on through Ibotta. And then I'll certainly show you what's for the house, what's for the Airbnb. All right, here it all is all together. So basically that little bundle of stuff, right? Oh wait, not even. That little bundle of stuff is for the Airbnb right there. The dog food is for us. 
as is everything else. And I honestly should have put the detergent on the Airbnb's account because I bought detergent last time. So anyhow, here it all is. Let's go in item by item. All right, so I have two gallons of whole Highland milk, thankfully still under $5, $4.97, something like that. Um, so that's nice to have the lower price and gall darn it, this one's still higher, still over 16 when it was under 15 before. So um, house blend, favorite coffee, great value house blend. I'm a broken record, best coffee for the best price, hands down. Um, needed just one cereal and I think this was the one that got eaten up the fastest last time when I got three so I just grabbed another one of these honey almond oat blenders and then we needed some Sunday school breakfast so I grabbed this pack of honey buns and the frosted chocolate and powdered sugar donut variety I read it this time guys are you proud of me I didn't just tell you the wrong thing from the get-go um, okay, and then Tennessee Pride Sausage Biscuits. My family loves these. Put a slice of cheese on them. They're so good for breakfast. Okay, this was an I bought a deal, but I promise you I was already going to buy it, so that was really exciting. I would have probably only bought one bag, but it was $2 off of two, so um, it was, I mean, I feel worth it because we will definitely eat it, um, but we love these as just a quick snack, and we are like... Although our shelf looks pretty full, we were pretty low on snack foods. A lot of those are like crumbs in the bags over there. I need to clean it. Anyhow, so I got the sour cream and onion toasted chips and the veggie. So I think I've had the veggie before. I can't really exactly remember, but I didn't want to get two of the same thing. So I figured I would give those a try. And then um, some sausage. I had breakfast burritos on my menu and... I realized I did not have sausage, so I picked up one of those for breakfast burritos. Okay, let's go all the way up top. Um, we needed a new air filter for our, you know, HVAC system. And I don't think the ones we buy that are expensive work. <laughs> they're like, I don't think they're any thicker than this. And they're like 12 bucks. And I saw this come up and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to give this a try. This is supposed to last for a year. You can wash it, I think up to 50 washes or something, which would be once a week, basically. Um, I think I read it on the reviews. I'm trying to look on the packaging from here and see if I can see it, but I can't. Anyhow, um, and it had really good reviews. Uh, so I'm actually very excited to give it a try and save some money on air filters. We live in the country, so there's a lot of dust. And if we can wash that out even as often as weekly, and it lasts for a year for $8 instead of $12 a month that I'm basically spending, um, I think it's going to be a great deal. So I'm excited to give it a try. I will try to remember probably on a weekly haul or sorry, a weekly blog to update you, but fingers crossed for me that it works. And if you use that, let me know. Um, it's called natural air. The thing's kind of meant there, but I think you can tell. So you just cut it to fit your sizing of your, you know, return air thing. Okay, next is tortilla chips. <laughs> Y'all, we've been going through so many snacky foods. We have smashed the tortilla chips, but these look actually smashed. So anyway, Scotty likes these round ones when I do cheese dip. So I grabbed a pack of the rounds and then the restaurant style. I definitely prefer um on the border chips but these are like a dollar or less and actually they're more than a dollar less and we've been eating them so fast so i just decided to save a little money this week and go with those they're good don't get me wrong they're good okay chocolate syrup aiden put that on the list which means we were out so he's going to be excited to have that back chili powder we were also completely out of chili powder so i needed to replen that Okay, these were on Ibotta, which I probably would not have bought other than I didn't want to buy burritos. And I was trying to think of something kind of like quick and easy, like when we get home late from like church tonight, we'll get home at like 930-ish, 9 to 930. And normally we would eat frozen burritos. So it'll actually be nice to pop these in and have something different than frozen burritos. So don't get me wrong, we still have two packs of frozen burritos in our freezer or probably less than that because I bought two last week, I think. Um, so, but these were a rebate on Ibotta. Did I say that already? I can't remember what the rebate was, but I think it was decent, maybe a dollar on each one. So I think they were five-ish dollars. So not, not too bad. I mean, the burritos are up there for that price anyways. Um, so again, worth a try. 
we've had them before. They're good. I know they're good. Um, but to see how long they stretch and all that. Um, okay. Laundry detergent. We are just out. I wash so much laundry. My washing machine's still broken. Yes. It's a saga moving on. Um, <laughs> paper plates. Yes. We use paper plates as well. Don't judge me. We're busy and we prefer paper plates on busy days because then our sink ends up looking like that. Okay. Pretend I didn't just show you that. We're just too busy. We're not home. Get off my back. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I needed these laundry. No, no, these aren't laundry pods. They are dishwasher pods. Um, and they were on Ibotta. So that was exciting. I think it was a dollar off. I needed them anyways. I think last time I bought these, I said, I've always been a cascade person and definitely a Dawn person. And I really like them. <laughs> I think that they definitely, um, work really well. So I decided to go with this again. And again, they're on Ibotta. Okay, and then the last thing, well, next to last thing for the house is, oh, Riley's been on the hunt for a different mascara. Um, she just hasn't tried this yet, so I figured I would try. And CoverGirl mascaras were on Ibotta. So um, figured I would just try something. She didn't pick it out, but I don't know. Maybe we'll have struck gold and it'll be the perfect thing for her. So to be determined. Okay. And then dog food, um, not on Ibotta, but we needed it. So we got it. Okay. And then for the Airbnb, we use paper towels down there. It's just easier for guests. Most of the time they, we also have hand towels available and dish towels, but we like having paper towels available. So we have, um, run out down there. So I grabbed a six pack of those. I keep meaning to get them at Sam's club. I do have to go to Sam's club this weekend. So I'm going to pick up a big pack of, that at sam's club for the airbnb um toilet bowl cleaner we were just out this is definitely what i prefer it smells like icy hot kind of <laughs> i don't know um that's the only way i can describe it uh and then these small spaces were on i bought it but i definitely needed them we use these in the airbnb i don't want to have um, any kind of candle down there that they could light because a uh, fire hazard and i don't want to have like a scentsy because they could spill the wax and cause a mess so for fragrance we use these and they're great they're they are very fragrant my mom found them to use at our church um she was our church janitor for years and so we just started using them down at the airbnb and they're great so there's that and then uh sponges i put out a new sponge for every guest i think it just looks better is that okay i thought that was like two big sponges um you know you don't want to wash your dishes with a crusty sponge that someone else has put on their dishes, you know, or whatever. So, um, I like changing the sponges every guest they're cheap and it's great. I feel like it's just a nice touch that we can add. It's inexpensive. And, um, I don't know. That's just one thing I like to do. Okay. And then batteries. So we took Aiden's old Xbox 360 down there and the batteries keep dying really fast. So I guess I'm going to try, try leaving this in the drawer and we'll see if they get stolen constantly or um if they actually just use them for the xbox i might put a little like tag on them that says batteries for xbox controllers and maybe that will help i don't know so we shall see if they just disappear or if they actually just get used for the xbox controller um i might just get some rechargeable batteries to put down there but i haven't thought that far ahead but people are loving the xbox down there that was kind of just a thing we decided to try and they do love it down there but the batteries run out really fast so um again gonna give those a try see how they go over but i might end up switching over to rechargeables so anyway that's it that's everything i picked up at the store this week for home and for the cabin and that is going to do it for this week's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I kind of rambled a lot about Ibotta and stuff. Again, this is has nothing to do with anything. It's just something I'm trying right now. But if you have any tips for Ibotta, I, I try and like listen to what Mandy's saying, you know. But if you have any tips, let me know on how to like make the most of it and, and all that jazz. You know, like I said, I typically buy off-brand stuff, which is less than the name brand with the Ibotta discount. So again, it's not historically been worth it for me, but I just wanted to jump back on there. So, um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this vlog or this haul, both take your pick. Um, thank y'all for coming along with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And of course, as always subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. Um, we have a lot of fun around here pretty much anymore. I do grocery hauls and weekly vlogs. 
I've always want to do extra content, but we have busy life, as I uh, mentioned a while ago. But if you enjoy watching busy lived families, subscribe. You're not going to be disappointed. So thank you all again. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.